Hello, everybody. This is Rick Geiler with Silverside Insurance here in sunny Tempe, Arizona. And today I have with me Sean Schatzberger, the regional sales manager at Sagicor Life Insurance Company. We're going to talk a little bit about single premium life and some of the benefits and features you can get with some of these kind of designs. Thanks for being with me today here, Sean. Good day, Rick, and thank you for having me. Okay, Sean, I know your company is a big player in the single premium life and life insurance in general. Some of the things we look for in single premium life designs are, are wealth transfer and leverage and illness benefits and those kinds of things. Can you tell me a little bit about how you advise agents when they're trying to match products to certain client situations? Absolutely, Rick. And as we know in our industry, it's never or should never be product first, that we should always be looking at a financial strategy or solution that's going to meet our clients' present as well as future needs. With that said, Rick, you touched upon a, a very unique product within our lineup, which is Sagicor Single Premium Whole Life Products, one being an interest sensitive, the other indexed. However, generally speaking, have the same fantastic features regardless of which one uh, we're talking about. With that said, wealth transfer is something that's a bit of a challenge these days because people are faced with the funds or assets that they have. Are these going to be live-on assets? or Am I going to need these for future income? Am I going to need them in the event of an emergency? Or these assets really – leave on assets. And as we know, one of the great values that life insurance creates is leverage in the form of a tax-free, or I should say specifically, we're not here to offer tax advice, but income tax-free uh, death benefit. And if proper planning is taking place, it also can be uh, estate tax as well as an inheritance tax-free uh, in terms of transferring that wealth. But what I like about the single premium whole life is, is that one fact I mentioned is that you create leverage by way of the death benefit. But also with Sagicor single premium whole life products, there's a return of premium option day one, Rick, in the event that someone has an unforeseen emergency or need, which, by the way, can't be addressed by our very, very unique chronic illness rider, which is an indemnity-based rider which the qualification is really quite simple, Rick, in that it's a one-page, one-time qualification by the insured's attending physician. Then that benefit will pay out as much as $250,000 over 33 months, again, tax-free, indemnity-based. For those of you not familiar with that term, it means – we pay first. There's no need to collect receipts uh, after paying for a particular bill that, or, or waiting then to be reimbursed. We we will pay ongoing over that 33-month period. And again, no additional qualification. Yeah, that is uh, – we've, we've noticed over the years that that is one of the most uh, – the, the richest riders in the class or, or basically on, on any kind of uh, illness-based acceleration. We look at other designs, which I know your company doesn't necessarily specialize in, that would be a true long-term care rider that would be uh, a separate pool of funds created by the policy uh, for just long-term care. Most of those, we, we don't see too many of those that are indemnity-based anymore. Most of those are more of a reimbursement where you would spend the money and you would show the expense for the billed services, and then you get reimbursed out of that pool of, of resources created by the LTC rider. But as far as a simple design that doesn't create that separate pool of money and, and consequently doesn't have the cost of the separate pool of money, we found that the rider at Sagicor is about as close as you're going to find to a replacement for a true LTC-type uh, product. You're absolutely right, Rick. And let me mention one thing is that there's no additional qualification for that benefit. That's an inherent rider. So as long as you qualify for the health coverage, that rider is included at no additional cost. And uh, so so that's on your single premium life. And as you mentioned, you have an indexed version and you have a, a traditional uh, interest-sensitive version uh, that's that's a little bit simpler design. What would you say if somebody said, uh, I want maximum death benefit? 
I have this pool of money or I have this stream of income, and I'm looking for the pure wealth transfer. I want maximum death benefit. Would you recommend this product, or do you have something else? This, again, could be a possible solution, Rick. If we have someone where they're repositioning an asset, and in this case, once again, our single premium whole life product, they're not sure whether or not they they might need that money at some future point in time. Again, that's the true benefit of the RP option. As I mentioned with the chronic illness benefit, should someone need assistance with two of six activities of daily living, then that benefit can then be triggered, and as you pointed out, uh, wonderfully, that that is a tax qualified benefit. It's tax free uh, when paid to the policy owner. Uh, one thing I did want to add was that not only uh, not only do you not need to die to win with this product, or in the case of a, a chronic illness event, but also there is cash accumulation with this. So, with that said, if someone knows that the money clearly is not going to be leave on money, there is a way to create even greater leverage, and that would be through a guaranteed UL product, which creates the maximum amount of leverage in the form of death benefit coverage per premium dollar of any product today. And in part, the reason why is because cash accumulation, to some extent, is sacrificed in lieu of the greater death benefit leverage. So with that said, if someone has, for example, uh, sitting on some safe money in the form of either a CD, a bond, or an annuity, and again, it's leave on money, they can create additional leverage by repositioning that asset to leave a legacy. So with a, with a no lapse or a guaranteed UL, uh, rather than some of the features you see in the, in the single premium whole life of, of uh, a rich illness benefit and a, and a cash value, you're pretty much foregoing those or you're positioning it for maximum death benefit leverage. So in a fact finding with a client, if if this is clearly an asset earmarked to move on uh, to the next generation or the kids, the grandkids, the church, whoever, uh, you you might recommend a no lapse universal life, a guaranteed UL. That is correct. And for Sagicor, that would be our Sage no lapse UL, which is available through issue ages eighty five. And, and what's Maybe not well known, and and for our listeners today, I'll go ahead and mention that this is a product that is highly competitive with all other carriers out there. And and what I found recently looking at some competitive data is that the shorter the pay duration, the stronger or more competitive this product is, let alone to mention to those that are listening and maybe perhaps not familiar with Sagicor, we do have an automated underwriting system called Accelerating which provides auto adjudication for our simplified issue products, which include our guaranteed UL product. So somebody is between the ages of 16 to 65 and looking for coverage as little as $25,000 to as much as $400,000, they can do that on a simplified issue basis through accelerating. And it's nothing more than a short form without the need for a telephone interview, nor a paramedic exam, no bodily fluids. And, And upon submission, you get a final underwriting decision as little as one to two minutes, and that product is as competitive as any fully underwritten product out there. Just the difference is one to two minutes to wait rather than 30, 60, or 90 days, as we know sometimes is the case with traditionally uh, fully underwritten products. Okay, so that is your No Lapse Universal Life on your accelerating uh, platform. Issue, issue ages up to age 65 and 400,000 face. You you mentioned it as as little as twenty five thousand face. How would that compare, say, in a final expense type competitive environment? Well, as we know, uh, most final expense products are typically whole life based. So where there is an element of cash accumulation, as again, as we mentioned early on in today's conversation, uh, there's little in the way of cash accumulation, at least not long term, with a guaranteed you all product. So therefore. Again, because we're creating a tremendous amount of leverage here without cash accumulation, it's the premium, Rick, it is going to be very, very, very competitive and affordable for most relative to a otherwise uh, final expense typical product. Maybe you can acquire as much as uh, twice as much. But again, keeping in mind, you, you still do need to qualify. This is not a guaranteed issue program or product that we're talking about today. Right. But from a from a cost basis, it's you're looking at maybe – maybe two or three times the the leverage per dollar spent as you might get on a traditional cash value whole life final expense. Absolutely, Rick. 
Okay, hey, that was great information, Sean. And uh, for agents out there who want to get started, what would you recommend to them? The first thing is if you're not appointed or contracted with Sagic Work, call Silverside Insurance Marketing today to get started. Okay, thank you. And with that, thanks for everybody for being with us today. Please go ahead and give us a call at 480-998-1286 or visit us on the web at silversideinsurance.com. 